Hello, so I, I just wanted to share my annoyance with this story that's gone viral, and I think it's terribly false. And I, I'm going to state ahead of time, I do own Tesla shares, but I don't like this kind of reporting. It's, I just couldn't believe what happened. Tesla crashes into Central Texas garage. Leander, Texas, KXAN. It's a trip Mrs. Rao, I'm not going to mess her name up, makes often from her home in the Houston area to her son's place in Leander. So just to be clear, uh, this is Houston to Leander. It's not an easy drive for an older driver. Um, three hours driving. You could probably get quite tired in that time. One day in May, she was driving her sister's week old Model Y with her sister in the car. New car, not her car, sister's car. Everything went smoothly, she said, until she got to her son's driveway. I was going very slow. And all of a sudden, this Tesla car, like, accelerated by itself and hit the car in front. That's my son's car. I was inside at the moment and I heard a loud bang, said her son. Whoa, what happened? And then I heard a screech and then I hear another loud bang. Mrs. Rouse said after the Tesla hit her son's car, it reversed by itself, sped backwards across the street and rammed into the neighbor's garage before finally coming to a stop. Video of the incident was posted on YouTube. I was so scared that night because usually kids play in that area and I'm so thankful to God, you know, nothing happened to anybody. Even we're not injured, but that's the scariest feeling. The neighbors said they were in the garage maybe five minutes before the incident, so if anyone was there, then it would have been so much worse, her son said. Security footage from the neighbours shows the chain of events. It is quite shocking how much security footage there is. All this time, I didn't know what was happening. I was breaking, she said. I just couldn't believe what happened. Is this really what happened? Uh, answer, no. Uh, is that my mum and aunt, Jai recalled? Jai said the damage to his car cost $3,730. The Tesla was totaled. He said his neighbour's car damage was around $8,000 and the estimate for their garage repair was between $22,000, that seems high, and $27,000. Yikes. Uh, neighbours are fleecing you, mate. In a computer conference over the weekend, Tesla spokesman Ashok, I'm not going to mess his name up, apparently used the Rouse case in a safety presentation. He said the driver unintentionally pressed the accelerator to 100%, first in forward, then in reverse, he also said the driver was driving manually and autopilot almost saved the driver's forward crash. Elaswamy did not explain how the company was able to determine those points. While it's incredibly sad, I'm glad that no one was harmed in this incident, he said. Mrs. Rouse swears it was a car malfunction. I don't believe there is, there isn't any problem. There is a problem, she said, and I want to find that out. And Tesla should find out. This is going to happen to other people. She added she's driven many cars for several years, including Teslas. Oh, well, that proves that you can't possibly have an accident. I didn't do anything. It was on manual and I did not do any reverse, she insisted. KXN took the case to, I'm not going to mess, Dragon, a mechanical engineering professor and expert at the University of Texas at Austin. He studied similar allegations against Toyota around 2008. I was shocked when you came to me with this news. I was like, not again, honestly, he said. That's a bit weird. Uh, he said there could have been electromagnetic interference between wires in the car. <sighs> no. Realistically, come on, you university professor. We all know what happened with the Toyotas in 2008. It was the carpet. You press the pedal, the electric command goes to the car, and there could be a breakage in that electric link, he explained. The answer to what happened is probably in Tesla's data. Yes, it is. Tesla vehicles are really computers on wheels, essentially, so they do collect a lot of information, a lot of data, he explained. The car obviously understood that the car command was given to it to go backwards and not only to brake but to accelerate. So one needs to know both where the pedals were and what the command was and see if there's a discrepancy. Hmm. I suspect Tesla have already done this if they used it in a presentation. At minimum, I would hope they'd want to look into it deeply enough that they understand why this happened and make sure their cars, their cars, don't do that again, Jai said. Again, Jai, you're being blind. Please, Tesla, if you're listening, come out, investigate. The Rouse want an investigation, so no one else has to live with the impact of something like this again. It's a very bad experience, said his mom. I still remember that, and it's, it's very hard for me to get out of that. I, I don't know how long it's going to take. Now, I'm not diminishing this woman's emotional uh, trauma. Obviously, any kind of accident, particularly one where you're at fault, uh, and you're at fault because you're getting older, that is, uh, speaking as an older gentleman myself, that is devastating. 
devastating. The family's car insurance agency told their house they could not definitively determine if the accident was the car's fault. The family also filed a report with NHTSA. Great, another report with NHTSA. The agency told KXN back in June it doesn't comment on open investigations. KXN is still waiting for an update on the case's status since then. So we've got some pictures of the car, which we'll also see again later. Um, more than 700... Now, this is at where the... Uh, up to now, the, this news report, other than being, you know, sensationalist, would they have reported on this if it was another car other than a Tesla? Probably not. Possibly not. But local, local news, maybe... Um, but this bit annoys me. More than 750 Tesla owners have complained to US safety regulators their vehicles can break for no reason when the partial autopilot mode is in use. Now we're differentiating between um, autopilot, oh, there's various different modes that the Tesla can be in and hers was in manual mode but it still has some automated things that it does but we'll get to those in the in the video from Tesla from the presentation. Back in May, NHTSA asked the automaker for all consumer and field reports received about false braking, as well as reports of crashes, injuries, deaths, and property damage. And as we can see, this isn't new to NHTSA. July 2017, older driver foot movements. I'll put a link to this. We know this happens. As you get older, you confuse the pedals. And it happens all of the time with all car manufacturers. It is not a Tesla thing. Government agency. Now, government agency attributes Tesla's sudden acceleration to pedal misapplication. Good news for the automaker. So this is from January 9th, oh, 2021. Hmm. Does a design issue cause various Tesla motor vehicles to accelerate suddenly and without warning? Concerns that one might have this effect have haunted the electric vehicle manufacturer for the last year. In January 2020, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration stated that it would review a petition asking it to investigate this phenomenon. A year later, the agency has completed its review and its conclusions are encouraging news for Tesla. At The Verge, Sean O'Kane reports that NHTSA did not find enough evidence to merit a full investigation. The agency did receive 246 complaints detailing accelerator issues, but found that all of them could be explained via pedal misapplication, otherwise known as user error, as O'Kane concisely phrases it, because that's what it is. The petition that prompted NHTSA's review is itself the subject of some controversy. As O'Kane notes in the article, the petition came from an investor who was shorting Tesla stock. Tesla addressed this via a blog post last January. So if you don't know what shorting a stock is, this means th this is somebody who spends his time, he's very professional because he knows how to short, he spends his time going out borrowing shares of retirement schemes. Your retirement scheme is invested in Tesla, guaranteed. He borrows the shares of them because they're not going to need them for a while. He says, can I borrow these for a month? I'll give you a couple of thousand dollars to borrow a million shares of Tesla. Oh yeah, sure, that's great. Do they pass that into your retirement? I don't know. He gets those shares and he sells them on the market. His idea is that in a month's time, he'll be able to buy them back and hopefully Tesla's price has gone down and he'll pocket the difference. So in a month's time, if Tesla's stock has gone down, he buys the shares back, pockets the difference and gives the shares back to the retirement agency, to the 401k. But if the shares go up, he has to buy them back at the higher price and he loses money. He has to buy them back and he has to give them back to this uh, retirement agency. So he has a vested interest in Tesla stock going down and he submitted a complaint. For me, that means he should be investigated and he should be arrested. In the automaker's response, it stressed its transparency with NHTSA and offered an explanation of why random acceleration was unlikely. While accidents caused by a mistaken press of the accelerator pedal have been alleged for nearly every make and model of vehicle on the road, the accelerator pedals in Model S, X and 3 vehicles have two, two independent position sensors and if there's any error the system defaults to cut off motor torque it stops the motor the company wrote you've had my full explanation we'd be going on for a while let's let's take a look at the video itself okay here she is pulling into the cul-de-sac pulling onto her son's drive and this is where she should press the brake pedal about now oh she hit accelerate and then she put it in reverse. And then she'd accelerate again. And slammed into the neighbor's garage. Now, some people have questioned why, why, when she's reversing, if she's got her foot on the accelerator, 
does she not accelerate across? Well, that's because, like most electric vehicles, the Tesla has a speed limiter on the reverse of 15 miles per hour. So these are the pictures that we've already seen before. Let's go on to Ashok's video uh, from a presentation that he gave on computer vision. So we're now going to watch a video from Ashok from a computer vision um, conference that he attended. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't make the slides available and you'll see why it would be great if we could see those slides, Ashok, um, because it would clear this particular question up. The next step is to avoid all collisions. Autopilot already has a lot of safety features. Here I'm showing a particular mode of failure of humans where... First of all, 40 accelerator misapplications saved every day. So 40 times a day, just in Tesla cars, the cars themselves stop people from pressing the wrong pedal because their vision systems recognize that they would not want to 100% accelerate in that direction. And you can see down here that we've got recordings. This is the pedal misapplication. So this is the driver's actual pedal pressing. And this is it detecting that the pedal was pressed accidentally. So you can see 1752, 1754, 1752, 1754. And it, it applied the automated system to stop them very rapidly after they initially pressed the pedal. And so this was to go in reverse. And so they went in reverse and then and it stopped them. All right. So accidentally press the accelerator pedal instead of the brake pedal. Accelerator so here, for pedal example, these people are pressing the axle pedal thinking that they're. So again, on this one, the person's pulling into a parking space with a river ahead of them. And when they get to the parking spot, they actually, instead of pressing the brake around 712, 713, 713 and a half, they press the accelerator and they stamp on the accelerator instead of the brake. And what does it do at 714? It applies the brake for them. This is what this system does. They're pressing the brake pedal, but the car realizes that, that they are doing this and are heading towards a collision and automatically cuts out the acceleration, presses the brake to prevent the humans from colliding. Um, in the previous case, there was a person, but in this case, this, this driver would have launched the car into a river. I want you to note, um, this is AEB for pedal misapplication. This is how much the person is pressing the pedal. This is what gear they're in. And this is the vehicle's acceleration. So you can see as they come up to the spot where they want to park, they're just trundling along and then suddenly they accelerate. And then they're, they're stopped by the system. Into a river and no, I'm saying that because the, the next one, which is the one we're interested in, is not as sharp as this. One final video here where uh, this person again is trying to park, but then misapplies the pedal and then would have crashed into the store, storefront uh, and maybe grandma here as well. And maybe grandma. And definitely grandma. Would have, we've seen these videos online many, many times of people doing this, crashing through a storefront. This person would have crashed through the storefront, taking all of the flowers and grandma through the pane glass at the same time. But grandma's fine because of Tesla because of an automated system. While we already save a lot of collisions, there are still collisions that humans get into that the autopilot system could prevent them from doing so. So he's saying, we've developed the system, it's doing really well, but it could be better. Driver was driving manually. Driver unintentionally pressed the accelerator pedal to 100%. First in forward direction, then in reverse. Autopilot almost stopped the forward crash. So again, we're seeing the same examples here of what's going on, and we can recognize them as to what they are. Looks like they engaged forward and engaged for reverse, but I've got a close-up image of this that we can look at. It's unfortunately as blurry as it is here, but we can see quite clearly that they've already analyzed this. They've already got the, this is their pedal, right? This is their pedal. They pulled under the drive and they hit the accelerator pedal, ramped it right the way up to 100%, and then they let go of the accelerator pedal, and then they engaged reverse, and then they accelerated again to 100%. Probably went 
br thinking they're pressing break and when it didn't do what they wanted to do they pressed it even harder which is what we observe in older people misapplying the pedals here's an example of that where this person again misapplied the accelerator pedal the autopilot system saved them from their forward collision but then they changed gears and then went backwards at full speed and hit the garage uh, while it's incredibly sad i'm glad that no one was harmed in this accident but it's kind of senseless to collide when we have a great system that can detect general obstacles so we're going to move on because if you, you can watch this video i'll put a link in below but um he's basically saying yep we're doing great but we can do better there's no reason to have a crash we can avoid from now on we can avoid having crashes I just wanted to make clear for those of you who observed how slowly she went across from one side to the other side. It's a little bit scary. So because of that, this isn't my final attempt. I want to get used to it, okay? I need a couple of attempts before we eventually lead up to the top speed. So we're in reverse right now. We've got the cameras up as well so you can see. Obviously, I've made sure there are no cars anywhere. You can see there's nothing there. And I'm just going to... <laughs> how scary is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that freaked me out. So we just went, I think it was 16 miles yeah, an hour. 16. And then I got scared and that I put the brakes on. That feels so wrong to do, doesn't <laughs> it? Let's go forwards again and we're going to try again. I want to see kind of, does it max out or will it basically let you go 130 in reverse if you have a long enough road? I'm assuming no, but we will find out. Right, this is it again. You ready, Becky? Uh huh. It hurt my stomach. I got scared. Okay. I think we might have got our answer. We are going... Oh, it's slowed down. Right, so my foot right now is pressed firmly onto the ground that whole time. 16 mile an hour. We're going... 15 mile an hour. It hurt my stomach. I got scared. I would like to leave the final comment to uh, Dan O'Dowd. Uh, those of you who don't know Dan O'Dowd, this is the man who's using the shield of uh, attempting to get into public office and getting 1% of the vote in order to disparage Tesla's auto driving system. Um, he doesn't seem to be a very sensible person despite, well, we, we will see despite what his uh, so-called skill set is. Um, but let's just listen to Dan in his own words. It's a complete catastrophic meltdown of society. Uh, electric cars. You, If you have a self-driving car and you hook it on the internet, well, because of automatic updates, all the self-driving cars from one manufacturer will run the identical code. If you find a way to hack one of them, you can hack all of them. They're all in the internet. You send out your malware to infect all that company's cars for, say, some model year, and, and then you send it a directive. Okay, get out of wherever you are. If you're in a garage, get out of the, you know, you know, open the garage door. If you're in a parking lot, get out of the parking lot. Find the nearest reasonably large uh, street and accelerate to 100 miles an hour drive the wrong, driving the wrong way. If 10 million cars did that, in five minutes, millions of people would be dead. And no one would know what happened and no one would be able to stop it. There wouldn't be any warnings or alerts. Just 10 minutes later, millions are dead. And and no one wants to get in a car anymore. Hmm. Dan, CEO of Green Hill Software. Huh, okay. National Semiconductor, seems like a smart kind of guy. Um, why is he disparaging Tesla's, oh, auto, oh, oh. Huh, interesting. Conflict of interest, maybe, Dan.